so I hope you had fun. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we did. Yes. Thank you. Five Thanks great a lot. Thank you, Claudia. And I hope those first two flights of like 40 or 50 are forever burned into your memory. <laughs> <laughs> you did that? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Is that good? Yeah. Right on. I'm Claudio Angaro, and I take people hunting. I woke up one day as a 27-year-old school teacher and said to myself, I'm going to build a hunting lodge. That was in 1994. Now I lead my dedicated team of guides for 63 days each fall, exposing my clients to some of the best waterfall hunting of their lives. Controlled chaos, epic hunts across 5 million huntable acres. We are hired to hunt. Good shooting, boys. Go, guys. Go. Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, this is a pothole shoot, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, I spotted here uh, probably four or five days ago and it's just been getting bigger and bigger and bigger. These guys have an early flight this afternoon, which adds a bit of complexity to the whole situation, right? They have a, like a three o'clock flight, which means we have to get these guys out of the lodge and gone by 1030 with a limit of ducks or a limit of something. So a goose hunt, obviously not an option. Uh, so we found this duck hunt. It's about four or five miles from the lodge. Bunch of ducks feeding in, in the pea field. They're going to puddle first. So as they puddle, they'll start being in here probably right at legal, which is 610 or 615. We're just going to set up the upright blinds right up against the cattails. They like to call them tulies. Imagine that. Anyways, Tyler's putting the decoys in. We'll stab a couple robos. This isn't rocket science and away we go. Uh, and hopefully the birds come early because we do have a drop dead departure time from the lodge at 10.30, which means we have to, you know, we have to call this hunt by probably 8.30 so we can get them back and settle up. And so shouldn't really be an issue, but it is hunting. And we've had, you know, in the last 30 years, we've had hiccups, you know, so I hope it goes well. So we're using uh, just herders and Cabela's floaters this morning. We're gonna put a lucky duck out in the middle. So Tyler's gonna, and I'll help Tyler here with some decoys. We're just gonna put a pot on the right, pot on the left, big hole in the middle, and we'll give them give them room to get in here. We're playing the wind, obviously. We have the wind at our back. The wind is supposed to switch out of the south, and it's a long pond. It would be ideal to play the south end of this pond, but the wind right now is straight out of the west. So we're going about a third of the way <coughs> north on the pond. And if they do, if the wind does switch, we'll just side shoot them on the south end and we'll, we'll make a slight adjustment to the decoys. And I, I feel it kicking a little bit out of the southwest. We will be committed though, <clears throat> and we won't have time to move. So it's gonna, it's gonna happen fast and, and away we go. Beautiful. Forget what I said about leaving them. <laughs> hey, Tyler's We're, over there, so we gotta just leave them. Leave oh, them, guys. Just leave them. Okay, we can see you can do that. That's how they Go, guys. Go, go. Get him. Get him. Go. I got a vote. It's go time. These ones are coming along. Go. Three, two, two. No, no, no. Just keep going, Tyler. We're not going to shoot with you out there. You know, these ducks give us a little bit of an issue. Lots of them. We had a few flights come in puddle hard real early, just classic. And the rest of them slept in, flew after the geese. So these ducks that slept in now, they're hungry. And they're not looking to puddle at all. And uh, I normally have, oh, well, they just shot, which is nice. I normally have a little bit of a decoy rig behind us in, if that happens. And I just put it out if I need it, but there's a big gap of cover between the water 
and the piece, so it's not really conducive for that. So I moved a robo in behind us and that's helping a little bit. So I'm just gonna run to the trailer, grab about 30, 30 dive bomb silhouettes, just Canada's, stick them in the, in the stubble, piece stubble behind us. And the wind stays, they should drift over the decoys to get into those and we should be able to kill them. So I'll get that set up right away and change it up. The way it all starts is there's some pondweed in there, a few ducks start feeding, they walk out, they go, ooh, look at all this grain, and then they start feeding. So of course, more ducks attract more ducks. All of a sudden, you know, some geese find it, they start day roosting there, they walk out, and all of a sudden we have a situation where, although they're coming to feed here, they're using the water, okay? And so we're just set up, we got a lazy ewe in front of us, a couple robo ducks in front, and then to simulate a feed, because I'd like to capitalize on some of the geese that are here, we got some geese in the goose decoys, full bodies in the swaths right directly behind us. And all that'll do is it'll just keep the geese on track, although they won't want to puddle. A couple of Canada's might, but it'll keep them on track. And all we need them to do is drift over us trying to get into the field decoys behind us. And I mean immediately behind us. And we're well covered in our, in our coffin blinds, in the foxtails. You know, the wind's, the wind's good. It should, be, it should be a real good hunt. Get them. Go get him! Okay, ducks out front again. Go! Go! Oh, are you kidding? How did I miss that? Ah! Last morning, boys. It was a good morning. Experience a pothole shoot. Yep. It was again like the theme for this trip. Apart from that one duck out with Mel, I mean, this this hasn't been perfect. You know, we're getting them, but we're working for them. Yeah. You know, but work is good. Work is good, and you know. Like I say this all the time, like we see things through a different lens. Yeah, we shot 48 ducks this morning, but like what we say is it wasn't pretty. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so anyways, we got them. The dog's got a couple more to pick up and uh, we need to get you guys back quick. So I hope you had fun. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we did. Yes. Thank you. Five Thanks great a lot. Thank you, Claudia. And I hope those first two flights of like 40 or 50 are forever burned into your memory. Uh, <laughs> you did that? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Is that good? Right oh, on. Yeah. Thanks for coming, guys. I loved hunting with you. And now for me, it's back to work. All right. All right. There we go. Thanks. Yes. Thanks. 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 Thank you. Thank you. All right. Cheers, guys.